Yeah. <laughs> Jake's was full dark crystal per usual. Dark crystal? Oh, Maybe. you're calling me the little swamp witch, aren't you? And she then, keeps calling me the swamp witch from the dark crystal. <laughs> Jinx day to day dresses like a fucking witch. Oh yeah. So, so she, she was a witch at TSA sister. like, this is my wand. <laughs> One time that bitch was like, Trixie Mattel. Did, did you tell people that I dress like a swamp witch? <laughs> Meanwhile, she was in a floor-length black gown and had wet hair. And before I could answer, she flew across the moon. Yeah. Sharon Alaska, me, caught ya. Yeah. And, and Tammy Brown, you guys. And Jason Mattel. Tricked. She added her to the bill. That was like when I wasn't looking, was it? It was like... Trixie was here earlier, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> Trixie is a fan favorite, thanks to Katya. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be shady, I'm just saying. Trixie is so far up Katya's ass, you'd think she was a tied-off balloon full of coke. <laughs> That's for you, mother. That's for you, grandma. Oh, God. I was just performing in Provincetown, Massachusetts, of all the states I could be working in, with um, Trixie Mattel. Jinx has a lot of nerve coming in here today in like a full-on Dolly Parton uniform when I'm clearly the Dolly Parton impersonator. You know, you always talk about how your partner's favorite queen is <laughs> me. Um, my Listen. My skin is sensitive. <laughs> I think that only dirty brushes from 12 years ago are appropriate. <laughs> I'm concerned that I have hand towels and you're like, rich, <laughs> rich. The toilet flushed? Oh, she's got money. I just spend my You always get some people who are just really celebrating their uniqueness, nerve, and talent. And charisma. Hell, throw charisma in there. <laughs> I hate you. You know what else it's serving? It's serving, um... Oh, it's, it's serving that old man in the dress um, from Conjuring with the veil who kills people. Um, I was dirt poor going into Drag Race. You can kind of tell at a couple moments in my season. A couple moments? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you under the illusion that there was two days that you were in burlap and the rest you were in furs and diamonds? Is that what you think? <laughs> This is my go-to palette, Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and you can see the colors I use the most. I have a new one if you want. Um, I have a new one too, thank you. It, looks um, like, <laughs> it, looks, it just looks like you don't. <laughs> I love Dusty Rose. It looks like you apply makeup with your teeth. <laughs> what is going on in here? I don't know. I have to really grind the stuff in. It's, like <laughs> it's not October and you always look like it's Halloween. Um, Reading! Shade from reading. And I. Yeah, Dallas made this dress. It's so beautiful. Dallas does pretty much everything. The Lady Hyde. Dallas does my clothes, and Wig Chapel does almost all my wigs. Well, with your proportions, once you've found someone who understands it, you really shouldn't stray. Okay. By the way, did you know that Ginger Minge and Jinx Monsoon are on tour with Xanadu? There's a situation where we can pay a fee and see Ginger and Jinx on wheels. On roller skates. And it's legal. Mama, <laughs> we're going. What is that universe? Interesting that Jinx Monsoon called Kim Chi a minefield when Jinx is the one who's blown up since Drag Race. Yeah. Oh, come on, she only started watching Feud because she thought it was called Food. <laughs> I love that trick. Trixie Mattel, with a face only a mother would love and only a father would fuck. <laughs> Gorgeous in drag, and out of drag, she looks like an egg. <laughs> She's the only person who didn't have to change her profile picture when she opened a Twitter account. And she called me Barbie in a real size. What does Jinx know about a realistic size? <laughs> I've seen her naked, and she's a real ginger. The curtains, you know, match the carpets and everything. But, why doesn't the foundation match the chest? <laughs> With a dick that big, you'd think she'd be better at impersonating a black guy. Virtuous 
so fucking drunk during that set, I thought Jinx Monsoon was doing an encore. <laughs> Jinx Monsoon is on Grinder tonight. It's the real deal. That's not a catfish. It's a whale. Water off a duck's back rolls. Now, Trixie, Trixie's an aspiring country music star, and in an effort to prepare for this role, she asked her lover to beat her. Most dads just play catch with their sons. Now, Trixie is in a relationship now. They're so cute together. She's always saying, Babe, I love you. <laughs> You're like the best lover I've ever had. You think you so good. And then he says, shh, don't wake up your mom. <laughs> Jinx is so fucking stupid. She's a singing Jewish drag queen who didn't name herself Menorah Jones. <laughs> yeah, the last time we had sex, I was singing, I don't know why I didn't come. <laughs> have complicated relationships with our fathers. For instance, my father was rarely there. The only thing he ever did for me was teach me how to pee standing up. Trixie's father also taught her how to pee into his mouth. <laughs> Obviously, these are all just jokes. How could she fuck someone she's never met? <laughs> Did you guys know every time they crown another winner of Drag Race, one of Jinx's horcruxes dies? <laughs> I mean, we could say Jinx is living in the shadow of Bianca Del Rio, but do you really think Jinx could fit in the shadow of Bianca Del Rio? And no matter what, Trixie Mattel won that competition. Competition Trump style. <laughs> she got the crown, but she did not get the popular vote. <laughs> Colin. like bolster myself as a drag queen by that point in my life. And um, I never felt bullied. But in the moments where I was feeling a little less sure of myself, I, um, I always reminded myself, but remember that moment when you cracked RuPaul up um, talking like little Edie, or remember those moments where you got RuPaul to like lose her breath laughing? Uh -huh. Those are my biggest accomplishments from my season because I mean, right.